So on this Raw show, let's talk about it here very quickly. Let's get through this fast, then we can take some feedback after the break. So we had the return of AJ and Omos, who have not been around since WrestleMania, where they won the tag team titles. AJ on, on social media said they had been partying in Nigeria, but then he comes on the show and said that he had been partying in Florida. So I think it's abundantly clear, based on the fact that he can't keep his story straight, that he's lying. But anyway, they're back, and they came out and they babbled for a while, and then New Day babbled. And this led to AJ and Omos versus The New Day, a rematch from their match that they had at WrestleMania. If you are a fan of seeing the same match twice, well, first off, Raw is the show for you, because all they do is redo matches. But in this instance, they not only redid the match, but they redid the match exactly as they did it at WrestleMania. The baby faces got the heat on AJ Styles. AJ made a triumphant hot tag to Omos. Omos destroyed both of the New Day, and then he pinned Kofi Kingston after AJ hit the Om uh, the the flying forearm off the shoulders of Omos. It was the exact same match with the same finish, but the only thing different was, unlike at WrestleMania when the fans did what they should do, and that is cheer for AJ and Omos. On this show, some dude hit the button so that when Omos made the babyface hot tag, you heard boos. We had the announcement that Eva Marie is back. I mean, if we needed somebody back, I mean, thank God, all red all over, whatever is back. She'll be showing up here in a few weeks, and according to the announcer, she wants the championship. Maybe she can feud with Alexa Bliss and they can do magic on top of everything else. We had a backstage segment where Elias and Riker tried to throw tomatoes at the New Day backstage. Revenge for last week, but they ended up hitting Randy Orton instead. That set up a match for later. We had Dana Brooke beating Charlotte in a match that was very boring. And she beat her with the figure eight. There was nothing to it. And then Sonya Deville comes out. And Charlotte did this long speech about how she deserved to be in the title match at WrestleMania Backlash, how it would make it a better match. And at the end of the day, Sonya added her to the match, so it is now a three-way. This led to Rhea and Asuka coming out. They had a brawl, and Asuka cleared the ring. We had Humberto Carrillo doing a promo. Said Sheamus disrespected him. He wants a match with him tonight. Sheamus beats him up and says, well, you won't be able to accept the Open Challenge tonight. Maybe next week. Adam Pierce yelled at Sonya for uh, abusing her power. Uh, Sonya hemmed and hawed and then said, you're right, we should be doing things together, which is weird. I don't know what's going on. Damian Priest beat John Morrison. Match was okay. The story here, very quickly, is that Miz is heading towards a breakup with John Morrison. Miz doesn't let the guy speak. Uh, true heel tactic, and uh, also he cost John Morrison the match when he took the referee when Morrison had a small package. So they're on their way to Splitsville. Johnny Drip Drip will be out on his own, which America's I don't think is going moist. to be in America's most moist. Say it's going to be America's most main event after these two break up. Unfortunately, not in the we actual main event on main event. Yes, yes, men. We'll get to him in a minute. Mansoor signed a contract with Raw, which led to Sheamus challenging Mansoor to challenge him to a non-title match later on in the evening. <laughs> Lucha House Party versus Shelton Cedric. Lucha House Party won. Cedric broke up with Shelton Benjamin. So the former Hurt Business, which didn't even have a name, is now no longer even a team. They also will likely soon be on main event duty. We had Angel Garza backstage, and he was challenged to a match by Drew Gulak. And uh, Angel vowed to shove his rose up Drew Gulak's ass. Did he? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Well, you'll know right now. They had a match, and Angel Garza beat the guy in like a minute. And then he put his flower down Drew Gulak's tights and then kicked it so that it went up his ass. He planted the flower. You know, producer Tony is listening to this right now, and he probably thinks I'm making all of this up, but in fact, it is all true. Now he's excited. Riddle, yeah, Riddle's with the Viking Raiders, and uh, I don't even know why, just doing some comedy. And then RK Bro faced Elias and Jackson Riker, and Randy DDT'd Elias, and Riddle hit the floating bro onto Elias's face, and they won, so they are now 
two and zero. RK Bro is on a winning streak here. We had a Drew McIntyre promo where he stole my material, and he pointed out that Mace and T-Bar <laughs> took off their stupid masks but kept their stupid names, which is they, true. Yes. They say the it same. It is true. Mansoor debuted. I could talk about this in depth later, but long story short, Mansoor beat Sheamus via DQ, and Umberto Carrillo ran in, and then Sheamus destroyed both of them and left them for dead. Sheamus, 42 years old. We had a horrible Alexa segment. The least said, the better. We had Nia and Shayna versus Lana and Naomi, a two-minute women's tag team title match, which actually went the perfect length of time. If this match would have went three minutes, it would have been a, a, an atrocity, but it only went two, and Shayna choked out uh, Lana to retain the tag team titles. And that led to the main event of Lashley and Braun Strowman, where, of course, Drew inadvertently distracted Braun Strowman, Lashley speared Braun, Braun Strowman, Lashley retains the title, and next week it will be Drew versus Bobby. And we can go into detail on specific segments if you'd like after the break, but that was the Raw show. Believe it or not, when you hear that, everybody, it was better than usual. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.